Yo, what's up, guys? So we're back with the most diabolical TV show uh, on a streaming service, basically, man. So this is the boys uh, season two finale. I'm excited to get into it because obviously this show has been like head exploding. My head's exploded personally. Yeah, mine too. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Hit us up on Patreon if you guys want to see the full uh, extended version of the show. You don't got to sync it or nothing like that. We've also got a lot of horror stuff going on right now because it is October mm -hmm. and we're doing a Tarantino run and just all kinds of stuff like that, man. So go on Patreon, go check out the collections. It's really easy to see like what we have because the collections is basically the equivalent of like a playlist on YouTube. Let's get into some boys. Let's go. All right, guys, season two, episode seven. Butcher, baker, candlestick maker. Who in the heck's the candlestick maker, babe? Can you expand it, though? There we go. Where to avoid the question? 30% of the public's hardcore aware now and know how the system works. Who is this dude? I don't know. He likes Stormfront. Any one of them could be a super terrorist. Many are calling for more superheroes in order to counter the super terrorist threat and protect Americans. What is I gotta go. Leave for class. Have a good day, hon. Stand up. We are going to hold hearings on bot and It's 145. And they want more super terrorists. That's when people are pointing out that the rush to judgment by the left. I get you have have a good day, hon. But why? So he's it just hearing this stuff every day. 24 7, yep. Getting ignored by that girl every day. And getting no booty. It's 145. At least the price is the same every day. You're right, pal? Yeah. Keep America safe again. And I am so glad that I was there this time. I am counting on you. Have a good day, hun. Three minute we wait. No, it's up to us. I am counting on you. Don't let me down. Oh, he's brainwashed. I saw the light in your eyes. You one of them? Are you bulletproof, mother? Please, I have a family. Please. Oh my gosh. Well, he seems a little psychotic, don't he? <laughs> so he just got brainwashed all the way. I guess so. Now, let's cut the shit and go over it again. I just left the seven. Put away that petulant look before you hurt someone with it. How can you not want blood from what he done? He's willing to speak against Maude at the hearing. We've never had Congress on our side before. What a bunch of corrupt say uh. I'm starting to think it's like a badge of honor. Turn it and deal with where I come from, love. Hmm. Opposition's gonna have a field day with him. I'm fairly sure he's f***ed half the Sacred Heart cheerleading squad. But yeah, he'll be a good witness. It's not enough, though. Not enough. If torturing and burning a bunch of mentals on board say so ain't enough for you, Muppets, then what the f*** are you good for? Strongly worded tweet. You're a wanted felon, asshole. We don't need your help. <laughs> yes, we There's do. There's a process and <laughs> he hates it. Okay, we know what they were doing at Sage Grove, but we don't know why. I need the full picture. If we're gonna take a shot at the king, we can't f miss. We know someone who might know the full picture. Who is it? Like you said, we're gonna have to trust each other. Bruh. Is this Can't even tell him who it is. Would you like a coffee? Um... No, thanks. How about a, a white chocolate unicorn frat? They're really good. No. Oh my God, that sounds so good. Share. Mom, I don't want <laughs> unicorn frat. That's funny because she said that because. Okay, sorry. Well, never mind. You just don't get it. But <laughs> it was like a little white girl coffee. Just so <laughs> You're like, oh my God, it's so good. <laughs> when did you get to town? <laughs> I never left. I've been staying at the days. Rude. It's just no. funny because you just don't catch things like that. But like I catch everything like that. So it was like. It's just two opposite worlds. Well, I feel like here. it was bait because I would love that <laughs> right now. Rude. I know what I've done to you. Mom, it's not just you. It's. Do you remember that cross that you gave me for confirmation? Before every save that I went on, I would touch it like a football player leaving the locker room. I thought that God was sending me on a mission. I gave my whole life to nothing. The good guys don't win. The bad guys don't get punished. It's just all for money, and I am in the middle of all of it, alone. Honey, you're not alone. Let's get away from all of this, get away from Vaught, escape for a while. Mm -hmm. I cleared it already. You cleared what? W with Ashley at Vaught. What in the world? They could be looking for oh. oh. Mom's annoying, you gotta ditch mom. I know she's a mom, but Jesus. Dude, I thought we were teammates. Yeah, only if you think the congresswoman is in danger. She's our best chance to nail Vaught, but only if you keep her alive until the hearing. Oui, madame. 
Oh, is you talking about Kim ago? Mm -hmm. No abandoning your post this time. Wait, mother. I'm, I'm all right. I'm coming with you. We need you to look after our star witness. You guys want to watch Deep Desert in the blowhole? I don't want to watch that. <laughs> Why is Classic. he watching that? Love it. <laughs> Butcher, the skull. Hello, Mom. Hey, Billy. Uh, I'm in New York. I told Judy to tell you not to f come. Uh, language. It's a bleeding expensive plane ticket, all right? And I ain't got the time Billy. to just. He's dead. Your father's dead. I oh, know. What if it's not true? What Maybe if it's like bait? It's a bait? Yeah. Well, she sounded sweet. What? Now she's in a cage, like translucent. Let me out! Please let me out. Please. Come on, man, stop. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> you know you don't need the discs. You can just download. Uh, what do you want to watch next? Big Black. Is he doing that on purpose, like oh, to annoy them Starlight or something? Starlight pulls an H. Right I'm good. I'm good. I'm just. Thank you. Different strokes, man. I think Jeez, he actually likes it. Homebanger. <laughs> you can't watch porn while the sun's out. Look, if I get up at that hearing, <laughs> what difference does it make? <laughs> so he's just like okay. depressed, I guess. He said you can't watch porn while the sun's out. <laughs> you know, I was a prodigy. I lit my first fire at four, burned my whole house down. My dad, Harvey. I was so proud. My son's a soup. I was gonna do great things. I almost did. <laughs> now look at me. I'm like the c sitting on the sidelines while the real heroes are out there doing the <laughs> What the hell? You wanna know why they left me to babysit you? Because you're useless. My mom, she, uh, never mind. After she was gone, I watched my dad do nothing his whole life. Thought I found what I was meant to do. But it turns out I'm shit at that as well. <laughs> You're not the cop. I'm the cop. Well, you said it, not me. Or you both are. I mean, if you watch porn, do you, I guess. But listen, you shouldn't do it recreationally like that. You shouldn't, like, <laughs> watch marathons. Maybe he likes the story or something. <laughs> no one condones the tragic shooting at the convenience store. Our thoughts and prayers go out to Kuldeep Singh's family. And we are making a donation to Samaritan's Embrace in his name. Thoughts and prayers. That doesn't change facts. This used to be a, a beautiful country. One nation under God. Remember? Right before these godless, inhuman supervillains started pouring across our borders. JWs like Victoria Newman want us to do. Just let him in and give him a cup of iced tea. <laughs> and then punish us for trying to stop them. That's right. Has there ever been anyone in history more persecuted just for trying to protect their own? Right. We are at war. We need more compound V. Absolutely. We need more soup. <laughs> now, I've always been honest with you. You know that. We also had a mole in the seven. That's right. Oh. One of our own. Starlight. That's breaking news right there. I know. It's okay. She's been apprehended <laughs> and she can't hurt anyone else. <laughs> Put him in. Oh. oh. <laughs> oh I Man, I thought he was actually okay, seeing this that. Is insane. <laughs> I bet you she's in 42D. Come on, Butcher, where are you? And that is if she's still alive, which... Wait, 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 what's 42D? At the tower. Suit proof, mostly. Steel walls, six feet thick. How do I get in? Into the tower? Yeah, you don't. And I'm sorry, man, but she's probably dead. Well, there's gotta be something, right? Like a, like a secret entrance? Maybe one <laughs> or two, but forget it, man. It's crazy. Hey, show two me. secret Come entrances. Me. You. You're still f***ed up. Which is exactly why I need your help. We gotta go, now! Team up. Vot screwed you over, right? Well, now they're trying to do the exact same thing to her. This shit is over for me. This is your last chance to be a hero again. You want to be the c or do you want to be the guy who f***s the wife? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Let's go f*** the wife. Consensually. Come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's the motivation that guy needed. Huey's like the guy from uh, She-Hulk. What's the dude's name? Uh, Pug. <laughs> yeah. Pug was suspicious, boys. Oh gosh. Don't hate me. Why would I hate you? Because he ain't dead. It was bait, just like you said. But a different I'm kind sorry, of bait. It was my idea, but you wouldn't come any other yeah, way. Yeah, that's the only way he'd talk to him. No, 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 dead. no, he hasn't got much time. But I ever asked you for anything. Ever. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you? What, they have no, the same right? vibe. You step one inch closer. I've seen on the news where you topped that still wolf's leg. It weren't me. I, 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 please, please. I just want to talk. Two minutes. Well, damn, this is intense, isn't it? I didn't know he hated his dad like that. You've been following the ashes? You want to talk about the fucking cricket? I took it every match. You loved it. Do you know why I loved it? Because you get on a piss with your losing mates. <laughs> and I could fuck off for hours and you'd never know. I know I was no perfect father. I never got a chance to say goodbye to Lenny, and I don't want that with you. You didn't have a chance to say goodbye to Lenny? You're the fucking reason he's dead. It's a shit world out there. You can't rely on no one but yourself. You either sink or you swim. He chose to sink. You don't have the fucking right to mention his name. I loved Lenny. But he wasn't hard like you. That's why you're still here and he's dead, isn't he? You beat a Shit out uh, of both of us, didn't you? Get the You're afraid of anything? No. Are you the strongest bastard you know? You? Tougher than I ever was. Oh, oh you're welcome. Dang. Lenny stuck that gun in his mouth. Mm. And you couldn't hack it anymore, and you pissed off to join the SAS like a rock. Well, that's where you know abandoned him. Not me. Man, don't hit your pops. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that face, y'all. Lenny could never have done that. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> he like wanted him to do that or something. He like agged him on. <laughs> Jeez, that was uncomfortable. Let's go back to the porn. <laughs> Ew. All right, guys. I'm telling you it's a mistake. What is? Keeping Starlight alive. I just. I underestimated her before. I will not do it again. Starlight as a traitor is trending number one, and we've got a million tweets in support of Compound V. A common enemy rallies the base. Just trust me. All right. Dang, she's a social media queen. You, Campbell, maybe pull his little spine out the back of his neck. You okay? <laughs> yeah, I just, um... Your daughter? Yeah. 80 years ago, she looked exactly like that. Sometimes it feels like yesterday. I don't believe that. I think she wants that baby to experiment on. I have something I want to show you. You want to finish out the backyard? Oh, heck no. Is he about to take her there? Mm. Hey, this is guys. Too much, man. Hello. Stormfront, this is Rebecca. Very nice to meet you. And this, my son. Hey, buddy. How you doing? <laughs> it's just that mom throwing He's said, I know last time uh, I screwed up. <laughs> and I just want you to know I'm never, ever going to push you that hard again, okay? Love you to meet my girlfriend, Stormfront. Looks just like you. Your daddy told me all about you. You have superpowers, mm -hmm. huh? You are the first natural born superhero. Can we not? That's right. Him, Rebecca. Um, his mom doesn't like to talk about them or use them. Can you also let me know before you just pop by? He's Ryan's father. He has a right to see his son. Uh, that's oh, very God. true. But look, <laughs> we all just have Ryan's best interests at heart, yes, right? Yes, we do. Ryan, uh, really like you to get to know Stormfront. He's someone I care about very much, and uh, I think you will too. So I think uh, we'll be around more, a lot more. I want us to be a family. Us? Aren't y'all like three days in? Hey. Empire Walk. Hi. That was a fraud, hi. I'm going to my sister's for a while. You don't need to be scared of Homelander. That little girl? On the plane? What she must have gone through in those last few moments? I lie awake every night thinking about that. Mm. Me too. 
But then I start snowballing and wondering, how many other people have you killed and what else have I you done? I didn't have a choice. I'm not blaming you. Will you sit down? I wish I were as strong as you, but I'm not. I just need time. She had her whoa. Dang. She had her whole entire paradigm blown when she seen that video, though. Yeah, I mean, over I would, and over I would be like, "What the heck, man? I thought you stood for a little more you than said that, Maeve." Wanted to see the real me. But I know she Maeve couldn't do anything. Is this the real me? I know. I'm sorry. I'm here to see Jonah. Tell him it's Grace Mallory. God damn. We on the wrong team. <laughs> Moral compromise does have its privileges. I thought you were tired. Dr. Vogelbaum, I thought you were taller. <laughs> <laughs> Sonia, can you get some tea? Thank you, but we won't be staying long enough. Ah, yes, there's that waspy patrician tone. All business. Doc, what do you know about the Sage Grove Center? Never heard of it. Should I have? Well, considering Vaught's been doing a legal test there since you were the CSO. Maybe it was Sun and Shine's project over in R&D. Prick always did have a real god complex. Do you recall the deal we made? In exchange for me graciously dropping certain involuntary manslaughter charges? I recall it was a long time ago. It doesn't expire until the statute of limitations does. Then I guess I'm turning myself in. We don't have to do this dance anymore, Jonah. Just a couple of retirees shooting the shit on the back nine. We both know Vaught to you. Probably put you in that chair. Testify to Congress. That's my daughter. She took time off from her practice to help a bitter old invalid. I'm sorry to say this, Grace, but you're the very last person who should be asking me for help. After what you lost, do what you like to me. But some things are more important than the right thing. He's right, of course. Go back to your wife and daughter. Nah, I'd just be putting them in more danger. The self-murdering bullshit of the special ops soldier. I'll get you all on a flight to Nicaragua. No one sees you again. That's a pretty good deal. When this is done. I'll take know, you man. up. To that. But that's the point, Marvin. I'd be it's looking over my shoulder been. forever. Yeah. You just let go. Every time a jet no goes by. No justice for your like... father. No revenge against <laughs> me. You get Home nothing winter. except your family. Go and never come back. I wish I had. An angry scene today outside of Congresswoman Victoria Newman's residence as pro and anti bot protesters clashed. Another. And a pint of bitter. I mean, how'd it go with Vogel Bell? I'll take care of it. I really like that shot right there. Yeah. That was a really good one. Life has always been hard, but I don't remember it being quite this crude. I get it. What she's doing with her daughter. My papa, when he lost his mind, my mama, she, she kept me cooking with her. Cassoulet, confit de canal, all the mother sauces. Cooking is as uh, this way of giving point in a storm. I wouldn't have took him for a chef. Well, he's Your French. Mama? I thought he she would cooked? be at some point. You know, oui, oui. Irvin Yalomi once said, you, you die twice. Once when you stop breathing, and again when somebody utters your name for the last time. I'd like to hear about your family. Keep them alive a bit longer. If you'd ever like to teach me. Oh. Yeah, he's playing the long game with Kimiko, ain't he? Mm -hmm. Point is taken. Never <laughs> mind. Mm -hmm. Gun? I'm seeing gun. Probably, <laughs> eh? I like how that's the first word. <laughs> <laughs> is that his wife? <laughs> Yeah. How's it going? Good, good. Look, I brought you something just to make up for all the shit I used to do to you. <laughs> he knows my name. Yeah. <laughs> hey, meet my new bride. My new bride. <laughs> nice to meet you too. It means a lot. Of course. A lot. Hey, guys. Hey. 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 Happy birthday. Thank you. Yeah, Thank yeah. You. I've got a meeting with Stan Edgar next week. That man's still having a birthday party. <laughs> Bot needs trusted, proven commodities right now. They need. You too. Yeah, it's for real. Honey, this is amazing. Wow. Thank you. What do you guys think of um, Eagle the Archer? Oh, he's like a brother to me. Yeah, he was there for me when I was at rock bottom. Oh, I bet he was. Loving person. He's ever. a toxic personality, and no church members are to have any contact with him whatsoever. <laughs> After he just like. Right. Yeah, like, no, said all that good that stuff about him. He did seem pretty toxic. He claims the program had failed him. He doesn't exist. You of understand? Ah. <laughs> what did he do? <laughs>
The deep ain't worth a damn, is he? No. <laughs> I'm actually starting to like A-Train a little bit. A-Train's like, something's weird here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The deep oh, just is falling for it for some reason. He calls girls in this way. It does not make it better. It's like his ego was crushed a little bit. All right, moment yeah. of truth. Is Shockwave in the seven now yet, though? Swarmed by guards. <laughs> not like Shockwave. And boom! All right, let's go. <laughs> It's weird to see this guy like that. He's in X-Men and he's not like that. <laughs> yeah. Hello? What the fuck is this? This is not on brand. We need you ready for Congress with Elena sitting proudly behind you. <sighs> she's gone. What do you mean she's gone? <laughs> Elena's gone. Elena will be back. You're America's second favorite lesbian couple after all. Who's the first? Probably you like Ellen. Let's just take a deep breath. Does anyone like Ellen? <laughs> I don't know, but she's the only one like I could think of right off the bat. For once in your life, be a fucking human being. I'm really sorry, Maeve. Homelander is gonna be smacking Ashley upside the head soon. That's holding. <laughs> We're in the middle of practice, Leanne. Oh, you can thank me later, Bert. <laughs> this team is your family, Michael. You protect his blind side, okay? Ain't there a How movie on that? Back? Yeah, Michael Ward. you have his, okay? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I've done the blind side, dances with wolves, terms of endearment. So are you into any things that, you know, kids are into? NBA 2K? PewDiePie? What's oh, the YouTube. Yeah, mom's weird as shit too, though. Or, uh, what about one of your dad's movies? You're in a movie? Dances with wolves. <laughs> I'm in a bunch of movies, man. There's <laughs> Homelander Origins, and Brightest Night. Oh, your dad <laughs> is so good in Homelander Brightest Night. Thank you. Mom, can I see them? When you're old enough, we can talk about it. Ah, right? they're PG. He can see them now. You're absolutely old enough for sleepovers and baseball uh -uh. games and Votland. <sighs> yeah. Do you want to take a ride on your dad's roller coaster? Can I, Mom? We can talk about it whenever you want. <laughs> That's annoying. I need to speak with you. We're having a good time here, right? Outside. <laughs> I know what you're doing. Nope. You could not possibly understand. That kid doesn't know anything about anything. And that's going to fuck him up. I do not want my son to have to go through what I went through. His life is different. He has a mother. If you take him away from me, this, this whole world will feel so confusing yes, and frightening. But Rebecca, you are lying to him. Because I love him. We have this opportunity to give him a, a childhood you never had. We can do that if he's here with me. Please, I'm begging you, please. Yeah, just leave him alone, bro. Jeez. Please, I'm Winder. Yeah. The name's William Butcher. So he's just like back to smoking, huh? And look at him. There's a roundabout. <laughs> I can't apologize enough for what I've done, but I can't give you the information you or Grace came for either. Homelander, growing up as a land, what was he like? Breaking the sound barrier. <laughs> I'm sure you don't want to talk about this. Oh, there is nothing I want to talk about more. Five or six, he was quite sweet. He loved stories about Davy Crockett. Loved the idea of the woods, the forest. But, you know, I needed him to be the strongest man in the world. So I went to work on him. He didn't even want it. It was for me. That's kind of sad. And that wasn't your only sin. It weren't Homelander who had my wife away all them years. It ever occur to you, the pain you cause sorry bastards like me? At the time, it was barely a blip on my radar. What's your radar telling you now? My family would be in Your family's already in trouble. Your whole fucking family dies today. Or you help me. What's it gonna be, dog? How can, can you be so... Oh, she's so nice with Thank the tea. Unless it drugs them. I can't remember the last time I had a good cup of chai. Yeah, I wouldn't drink anything over there. Yeah, because he's not drinking one. You wildin', Billy. You... <laughs> what is he... <laughs> Why is he looking him in the eyes, sipping it like that? Okay. I feel like for some reason he's gonna die, though. <laughs> like, I don't know why. <laughs> Like he's gonna have his last little moment and cow. What the hell? This is the conference room. They moved my statue. <laughs> what? They still had an A train picture up. They have a head of someone. I oh, that's translucent, to maybe? My statue? <laughs> what? <laughs> I just wanted to make my dad proud. What the fuck? 
So the whole time he's had his powers, he's never actually done that to himself. It looks like he wanted to do it in there for some reason. Well, he just screwed freaking Huey Magooey over here. <laughs> I guess that's the whole theme of this episode. Everyone's getting... Yeah. Huey got caught up. <laughs> oh, maybe that... Well, maybe it helped. Yeah, maybe that power. Yeah. Why would they put an alarm in there? I don't know. Stop! Wow. And then he dies. <laughs> what? Fuck you, man. Shit, I need his hand. Oh. Is he about to have to rip his hand off? Oh my god. Ah. Oh. Come on. Protect me. I don't want to see. Dang, she was on the 99th floor. Like Nor. I just feel like he's mean. A mini face. How do we know he's not a robot? We don't. We don't know anything about him. Damn, that pillar is going to kill her. But he's about the mission, apparently. He's all about that mission. Because... Yeah, he's like a programmed soldier over here. Damn, that desk was custom. But he can play piano. That's an easy task for a robot. Let's go, Maeve. Redemption art. Oh, he's got a burnt face. Oh, she put a, a Snickers in his mouth. Oh, we can't eat chocolate? He's allergic. No, he's just not him when he's hungry. Oh. He has a tree nut allergy. <laughs> Oh. Let's go, Maeve. Come with me. Where, where else is she gonna go? She just attacked Black Noor. Yeah, she did her job. Oh, hi, Mrs. January. Is that a human hand? Oh. Yes, it is. Come on. <laughs> That's his girlfriend's mom. Yuri? Yuri! Yuri! Oh! 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 <laughs> oh! <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> he said he kind of he kind of did that though how are we gonna get out of here i know a way <laughs> <laughs> vegetarian pride lives on look look rebecca's making all right it. <laughs> dinner's ready that woman needs a real husband asap <laughs> what's wrong you lied to me the neighbors are being your fake or deserves to know the truth Oh, no, just don't sorry. touch me! I hate you! No. I think he just needs a little space. He needs his mother. He'll still have a mother. Hey, Ryan! Ryan! <laughs> hey, Ryan! No! That'd be a he nightmare. Needs. Oh my gosh. Just he going off with him, gosh. <laughs> All you had to do was watch porn. I didn't know he was going to set himself on fire. Butcher? It's me. You let our star witness burn himself to death. <laughs> Stupid <Thank> Huey. <laughs> what do you mean? I want to get Starlight out. <laughs> my main look like so... I like how they're able to like hang up on her now. <laughs> it's mum. He's at the airport. I promise. You've got a right bloody nerve, you do. I'm sorry. They fixed that place up fast. You won't have to see him again. He ain't got much longer. A couple of months. Tell me when it happens. I didn't do it for him. I just thought when you saw how helpless he is now, you'd let it go. And you wouldn't become like... Like him, huh? Or his brother. He's talking about his brother, I think. Yeah. Aww. Told him I wasn't gonna cut my mom out of my life, and then the church leaked all this shit on me. What? And I had <laughs> he doesn't like that. He's been <laughs> he they, they're like animals. <laughs> Fuck him. I thought he was your friend. We just changed the channel. The hearing's almost done. Starlight. I think she's off the grid. Fucking find her. <laughs> this bipartisan committee is called to order. Investigating Vought International, Compound B. Immediate this effort. is it. She's just in there, ain't she? <laughs> the testimony we're about to hear today will prove that Vought is guilty, and it'll come from someone that has witnessed these crimes directly. Dr. Jonah Vogelbaum. Oh. Okay, okay. Quiet, everybody. Homelander didn't even turn around. You see his face? Quiet. Yeah. And that's his whole dad. Gotcha. You have five minutes to make your opening. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Cindy? Shockwave? Is this a dream? George Washington? This is definitely changing the whole entire country right here. Oh yeah. Things will never be the same after this. What the fuck do we do now? 
Oh my gosh, every time y'all have something. These people will go through anything to keep it a secret, won't they? But Cindy's like off the rail though. That's a Cindy's not involved. Right. Wow. So she might have accidentally. <laughs> the shining sea. I love that song. <laughs> Cindy based that was Sydney, right? She just came in and just busted heads. Um just, golly, what a crazy episode. So um Starlight ex escapes, so that's really good. And the only reason she was able to escape was because ultimately your boy put himself on fire, which cost an alarm to go off, a fire alarm. Well, that was and their witness. So Huey Huey accidentally took their witness to a suicidal spot. So now they had no one. All they had to do was watch TV and just chill in there. But now they had no one. Well, they had they had Jonah, but then his head exploded. So now they have no one to testify. Uh, pfft, man, I, to be honest, I don't blame Huey. I mean, I didn't think your boy was about to set himself on fire. <laughs> I know. Jesus Christ. And he if was you're just gonna, getting his girl. Right. He he saw they removed his statue, and that was just the final <laughs> freaking nail in the coffin for him. Kind of sad, actually. But yeah. uh, Homelander comes in and basically kidnaps his son, exposes him to the fact that he is basically living in a compound. Mom lied to him about it. Obviously, mom's lying because she's trying to protect like the only innocence the little boy has. I mean, his whole life. She's basically trying to nurture someone who's not going to grow up and well, use his power. Well, she's like, what separates like Ryan from being Homelander. I mean, I don't, I don't know about that's that. That's what I mean, they're Homelander, saying. That's what they say. Yeah. Least, Cause he's I, the natural born. She, she just is trying to raise him complete opposite of Homelander. So while Homelander's watching like Western movies, she's making them watch the Indian in the cover. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so uh, she's just a complete opposite of Homelander in that way. And that's just really sad that they're just coming in and basically like kidnapping her child like that, especially Stormfront. Cause who the heck is she? I think they're just trying to, what I think that they're trying to do is like raise up all the soups. And I think they're trying to train Ryan to be like the ultimate. Like a soldier. Yeah, yeah the absolutely. ultimate. Yeah, I mean, that's the vibe I got. Um, Crazy episode. I, we need to get into another one. I can't wait for the finale. This is about to be crazy. Yeah. Please be advised, the video production is dramatic and realistic. Some viewers may find this upsetting. How to survive a supervillain attack. There's a supervillain cool. on your school campus. What do you do? I'm Sheriff Ed Flanagan, and I'm here with Homelander to talk about school safety. On the first report of an active supervillain, a hero will immediately rush to your campus. Remember, stay calm and follow the law. Lock all doors and windows. The lock. <laughs> Arm yourselves. Your teacher should have an authorized firearm. But use whatever you can and wait for a hero. By having an action plan, you can dramatically increase your chances of survival. And survival is all that matters. Where's my flag pin? Bob, before he makes any decisions, just let me talk to him. One, the president doesn't like you. He used the word standoff. <laughs> And two, he's decided. <laughs> he's declaring a national emergency and authorizing Compound V for use by law enforcement and first responders. That's crazy as hell. Doses are going for five million a pop. One hour, I will be standing at the memorial service for the fallen heroes of the house attack, giving my thoughts and prayers and pledging to keep America safe. There was no terrorist. It was Vought. It's a fucking coup. A bunch of right. their guys died too. To cover their own tracks. For well, the record, I sorry, that's what I was saying. Like, obviously, she was acting on behalf of Vought, but it's like I don't think you, she was. You don't think she was? You mm -hmm. think she just wanted to go after I think, Stormfront? I think she's just rabid. Really? Yeah. Because this seems like she just did Vought a big favor. Well, she, she did. They do just, a they big just favor. Made, I just, they just think it was Vought. unintentional. Yeah, maybe so. If I'm that lady, bro, I'm not doing anything to help anybody. I think she just wants Stormfront. That's what I think. Yeah. I agree with you. For the record, I agree with you. But you've got no proof. Here's what we do have, Bob. Oh, let me guess. Tape of me my kid's nanny at her daughter's Kensianetta. Release it, please. I'm begging you. <laughs> he's a lot different than on Supernatural. Mm. Oh, he's on oh, Supernatural? Wait, anything. Yeah. <laughs> if you could get Jesus Christ himself. That's like their dad figure on that. In front of a camera, sure. I really am sorry. That's funny because he, he knew exactly when he did cheat on his wife. <laughs> he said, release it. I'm begging you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to leave you here. I'll be fine. It's dirty down there. The anxious boy? Really? With the moist handshake? <laughs> Mom, okay. With the moist okay. handshake. Um, That's you the need worst. a new one? Aww. I'm not going to wear it. I don't care if you wear it. I just want you to have it. You be safe. You have lost your minds. What's he got on yeah, right now? You a Fleetwood Mac shirt. Sure. Magnetic pulse on impact. Thanks to Starlight, we know that Noir needs any f***ing tree. No. How about a tree? Got enough epinephrine here to blow up that mother off. Hey, we can't just kill everyone. <laughs> That is exactly what we're gonna do. <laughs> Did she? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, can you rewind that? <laughs> she looks so adorable carrying that big ass thing. Can't just kill everyone. <laughs> that is exactly what we're gonna do. 
She had a rocket launcher or something. Always Jason's Roadrunner, always with an elaborate plan, always fails. You know, I always say, why do this, Coyote? All you need is an AR-15 and meep meep. No more. So that's settled. <laughs> We're just super villains now, huh? Power couple. What if I testify? Escape convicts don't have a ton of credibility. She's more you know, than just an escape convict. Maybe I know someone who does. Huey. Who? The guy who gets his arm cut off? That's what I was thinking, but he don't like. He said, her. "Don't show up again." Yeah. <laughs> but she's already in trouble. So. Attack, the Department of Homeland Security or Maeve. has issued a crimson terror alert in Washington. All government buildings. That's the war. They don't think there's brain damage, but apparently it's hard to tell. Noir's a vegetable. Lamplighter's a charcoal briquette. Starlight's in the breeze somewhere, and you're. None of that matters anymore because of this. So far, no terrorist group has claimed responsibility. You didn't do this. I wish I'd killed Vogelbaum, but no, it wasn't me. <laughs> and there's. There's no supervillains on American soil. None that we know of. And that means he's Edgar. Maybe. I mean, he is pretty smart, especially for his kind. Well, you are right, hey, but Edgar could have told her because Edgar was probably in charge this of that. Good news. Mm -hmm. Stage yeah, that is true. There have been sacrifices, but we are this close. We have to make sure that the right people get the doses, but... What about the wrong people? A couple of billion of them, they're not just gonna sit there. Frederick had a solution for everything. So Homelander just gets raked into this whole entire, like, supremacy Important thing just because of her. Yeah. That's kind of weak-minded, right? Last I checked, you are not 57 years old, so... <laughs> Come on, why is it always Billy Joel? I'm 57 on the inside. No, really, please. It's better than some of this other stuff, Starlight. You should be happy it about it a little the bit. music in my house growing up. You know, I did some somersaults, so you may be right. Butcher is right. We've already tried to take Vought down the right way. This isn't gonna work. This is not gonna stop Compound V from getting out there. Then why are you even helping me? Why did you save me at the tower? You had every reason to give up on me. So why didn't you? I just would never. Man, because you're a superhero and he likes That's you. why I'm hoping. Aww. You were stupid to text. <laughs> <laughs> what is you going on? <laughs> Where's Elena? This is the guy? Hi, Huey. Huey Magooey, nice more to meet you. Twink than in the photo. Big fan. <laughs> <laughs> I need to ask you something. I need you to testify. Testify? Why is there a plate of chicken On the there? record. <laughs> against Vought. She's just depressed, against okay? Against Homelander, <laughs> Stormfront. <laughs> Why would I do that? Because things are really bad and you're a last chance. Look, I get that it's dangerous. It's suicide, but that's not the reason. Well, then what is? I'm tired. We're all tired, but they're hurting people. And sooner or later, they're going to hurt someone you love. Am I talking to you? I get that it's easier to just disappear inside of yourself. Trust me, it's all I want to do, but we can't, Maeve. We can't. This is a war now, Shut and the we f up. Haven't I done enough for you? Doesn't matter what we do. Nothing changes. Nothing ever changes or gets better. Only Maeve can make Starlight look positive. Mm -hmm. And I'm tired. Go! Take your twink and get the <laughs> A twink. <laughs> that one hurt. Oh my god. You just got called a twink right in front of your girl. He said he's a big fan. <laughs> hey, let her in. Help me. Billy, Billy. They took him. Damn Brian. Who's going to? What if he's like, good? Because he called him a, you're coming all a this soup way, freak. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh -oh. Can't exactly be seen with you at the tower now. Fresh crumb? No, thank you. Awful stuff. <laughs> so you've had a chance to look over our proposal? He publicly confessed to a sexual assault. Our internal research bureau shows an impressive Q rating. He's an asset to Vought. Infiltrator. What sort of commission is the church getting these days? 40%? 50%? Sounds like you're open to reinstatement. That's fantastic. What about a train? You do need a speedster since shockwave exploded. Harder sell. One has been back is redemption. Two is weakness. Stormfront has problems with him, and at the moment, I have to indulge her. Hmm. What's her problem with A-Train? I understand that she was among your grandfather's <laughs> yeah, what's first the problem? back when the collective was a startup. I can neither confirm or deny that. Then your internal research bureau knows exactly what Stormfront's problem is with A-Train. Deep is still a win. <laughs> Shall I have business affairs reach out? Please do. Dang, so he's gonna have to tell A-Train that? Sons of bitches. Voila. Simple, but it's the ingredients, you know? Thank you. Diet Coke with lime, right? We've heard a lot about you. Aww. <laughs> Are you all close with Billy? Yeah. I mean, sure. <laughs> I have a hesitation. Uh, Do you really get close to him? Let's <laughs> just say he ain't really close to a lot of people. Right. 
Except you, of course. I'm close to him. <laughs> all right, all right, lads. Let's give us a memory. So Ryan ain't on any of their social media. So you think he's in the tower? Not sure. You stay here. Rest up. I'm gonna go do a little digging. Yeah, I have no right to ask you to help me after what I said to you, Look, but... Look, don't you worry, all right? I will find your son. Thank you. Dane, for some reason in my mind, I thought they just closed the chapter on each other. Like you thought it was done right. here? I figured she would come back for some help at some point. Yeah. Mr. Edgar, normally I wouldn't put this through. Matt says it's life or death and you know him. What's his name? William Butcher. Okay. Hi, hi. We've been having a super fun time in here. Hey, buddy. Sorry we had to leave you all alone. Dad's work can sometimes get pretty crazy. I've been here. I got him all these dipping sauces. You didn't want to play <laughs> Vogue Tournament of Heroes? I'm the main guy. I was working on my estates. Mom says that learning is a gift, so... Mm -hmm. That mom of yours. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think maybe I could call her? I would feel lonely too if I was cooped up all day by myself in this West Elm Death Star. <laughs> Poor Ashley. <laughs> How about we take a field trip? What do you say, Dad? Please don't take him there. Isn't he sick of seeing all Come that? On, would you like to try our new Brave Maeve rainbow veggie burger? <laughs> Holy sh! <laughs> oh, he likes it. It seems so innocent on the outside. Okay, cool, huh? Jesus. <laughs> Look at that fake homie right there. <laughs> hey, wait until you try the big homie with bacon. It's the big so homie. Good. <laughs> hey. Can I get a selfie? Get it. Of course you can. Of course you can. No, I love you. Can I get a selfie? Sure. Hashtag Stormfront. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, Don't explode. Don't explode. Hey. Okay. okay, I got you. Thank you, everyone. Excuse me. Dang, look at him dadding. Stay back. Thank you. Donna got it for me. Pretty sure she got it at Dwayne Reed. <laughs> oh gosh, moms. The gift that keeps on giving. I'm sorry. Oh, no, it's fine. My mom's not dead. She's not? She left when I was six. Oh, wow. Where Billy Joel comes from. Oh. She and I, we used to have these dance parties. She made awesome seven costumes for Halloween. Oh. And uh, then one day she just, left never called again not even a card you know it was like some silent alarm went off maybe your dad's not telling you the whole story that's why i always just kind of hang in there no matter how bad it gets i, I don't want to be like her hmm. oh. Birds. Ah! oh my god <laughs> how did you find us please and cover the burrows in like three hours hey i saved your life now you're coming after us <laughs> we're even now bitch. they have a weird relationship is this true Everything makes a little more sense now, doesn't it? Where did you get this? I didn't get it, okay? I was never here. But wh wh why are you doing this? Because I want back in. I need her gone. That Nazi bitch. Oh. So this is getting complicated. This man wants to kill her, keep it all a secret, work with the enemy, and then join. Yeah, Matt. because Stormfront doesn't like him, <laughs> and he wants back in. Yeah, it's a dangerous game he's playing. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Because that's Homelander's whole girlfriend. Yeah. And I think Edgar even likes. Would her. you ask Mario if he could whip up some of those Gruyere puffs? <laughs> Would you like an order? I assume you've got a man out there with a clean shot. More than one. Just cut straight to it, yeah. <laughs> you mentioned on the phone that you could help with Homelander's son. I must say, I'm not sure what you mean. That boy is your only possible contingency against Homelander. That contingency don't work if they're off playing Warden the Beef. I can fix that. Homelander's a friend. Why would I betray him? Because you're a ruthless bastard. Oh, I want one of That's those puffs. Hurtful. You turned a racist piece of shit into America's sweetheart. Stormfront's good at making people angry. Angry people want Compound V. Compound V raises our stock price. I'd have preferred V remained a secret, but we play with the cards we're dealt. It's not ruthless. It's prices per share. That's all. Maybe you it's should all about take the bottom a line, huh? Mm-hmm. Because that should bother you. I can't lash out like some raging entitled maniac that's a white man's luxury so it's just business then eh? when in history and what makes you think that you can control that racist i can get the boy away from homeland all right when i got him i'll call your people they zero in on this cell signal then come and scoop him up and then you do a bit of job of hiding them this time yeah i will get rebecca and ryan somewhere safe not becca becca stays with me that's the whole point that he's raised by his mother find him and you 
And mum, I'm taking my wife back. That's the deal. No. Man, she and what happens? Really she doesn't Rebecca want that. Shows up at my doorstep, begging to be reunited with her boy. A mother will do anything to protect her son. Dang. And you call me a ruthless bastard. You tell me where he is, and I'll do the rest. <clears throat> this is all about to fall apart. They're at Hawkeye's house. Yeah. Where's Ryan? So he's inside. He wants to be left alone. You are the strongest man in the world, and you're scared of a little boy. Just talk to him. Be the man I know you are. I'm sorry. Don't you be sorry. I I should have known better. There were just so many people. Yeah, there was. Yeah, he's not used to that. He's been trapped forever. Oh yeah, he hasn't even went to a restaurant before. I remember the first time I was in a crowd. I was terrified. All these people staring at me and egging me on to use my powers. Well, what'd you do? I took off. Flew away. They found me 80 miles down the I-9. Crying my little eyes out. <laughs> Jeez. This is the most human I've heard of. Yes. I'm a man, so not in a long while. But <laughs> who knows? Maybe, uh, maybe next time you'll fly away. Maybe with me. I didn't just wake up one day and fly out the door. It's not how it works. I had to learn. Honey, I didn't have anyone to teach me. The people that raised me were scared of me, so they kept their distance. And I had to figure it all out by myself. See? You don't have to go through any of that. I'll teach you. I love you. Oh, he's such a sweet little kid. Do you think this is the first time he's actually, like, caring about someone? Like, in a real way? Because I don't think he really cares about her. I think it's just... Yeah. I don't think he really cared yeah. about Madeline either, of course. Did you find anything? They got them in a cabin up in Rochester. She's great. We we talked earlier, and um, she's she's really great. She's you're really you're great. We guess you are cool. No witnesses. Definitely found f cool. I'm not sure I'm using that term properly, but uh... me. This is a jackpot. Well done, you two. This will do nicely. All right, listen up, you lot. Getting the kid back ain't your fight, and I ain't gonna ask you to come along. You done ask us to lie, spy, do all kinds of up sh for you now we finally get a chance to do something good think we're gonna take a pass on that we're in of course we're in <laughs> is kimiko gonna go the whole series and not say a word i don't know when she does i'm gonna be so happy <laughs> <clears throat> maybe in the very last episode she will maybe she'll be like diabolical <laughs> she's gonna go oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are we we i hope she speaks some french for frenchie you remember the range of fort bragg i was a better shot than you you had a bloody good teacher didn't you i like your friends especially huey he's uh <laughs> he's good for you you ain't coming with us ryan doesn't know you he'll never come to it's you he's okay. my son and i'm coming oh she's gonna figure out the plan i need you to promise me something i need you to promise me that you will save him no matter what and you will get him back to me yeah of course. He can't grow up like Homelander. You have to think of all of the people out there that he would swear to me then. Oh. You swear to me on your brother's soul. I swear to you on Lenny's soul. Okay. Come on, Billy. She should have said on Terror's soul. Yeah, but that's no big deal to Billy. He doesn't he done said he don't believe in a soul. Remember? He mm -hmm. went on like a whole rant about that. That's like saying I put it on cheesecake to him. Maybe Vegemite. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. He's not. Yeah, he's not Australian. Australian. You guys let us know. Sorry, 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 sorry. I can use your help loading the car. Freeze. Yes. If there's one thing I know, is that you can take care of yourself. So when the time comes, you'll know what to do. Keep going. You got it. That's it. Don't give up. That's it. That's it. Keep going. A little more. A little more. You got it. Is that the deep? It's got to be right. <laughs> He's about to blast the deep. <laughs> oh, hey, that's okay. You'll get it. You'll get it. Um, sometimes it helps to imagine someone you hate. Right? <laughs> so. Try what that. if it's him? What if it's Homelander? Yeah. But at home, when I say hate, I have to put a quarter in the swear jar. Well, there's no swear jar here. You can hate away. But I don't really hate anyone. That is he very that. sweet, Brian. <laughs> but that's not something we can afford. We're under attack. We are? They want to wipe us from this earth just because of the color of our skin. It's called white genocide. Dang. <laughs> Look at him, he's like... like you to protect our kind. All right, so let's try again. Imagine... You gotta be kidding me big what? words there homelander is all for world domination but he's not exactly trying to like take the racial angle i don't think yeah <laughs> it's because he's white he knows he's not gonna win that of course i dance what is the point of life without dancing she's on the move i see it frenchy we gotta go now you're close no. just broke in new york city concerning stormfront 
Stormfront may be 100 years old. What's even more incredible, we have authenticated photos showing Stormfront with Nazi high command. Based on the photos, it is now believed that she was the wife of Frederick Vaught. She was hanging out with the master of propaganda. I believe I actually have to say this, this day and age, but Nazis are bad. Nazi Stormfront Hitler <laughs> <laughs> It's catchy. But the question now is, how can we possibly let Vaught release Compound V in light of this unprecedented malfeasance? What's malfeasance? Nazi in Seven Tower? Uh, uh, Was she part of the attack? Uh, Stay here! Ooh. No! Oh, there's Everybody so smart. Him? Yeah. Beck is right. If he walked up with a gun like that, he, Ryan would not go. <laughs> yeah. He'd be like, what? Ryan! Okay. We've got to go. You're okay. We're going to go, okay? Who's that? That's my husband. It's all right. Billy. Come on. Do the right thing. If Billy hates that kid, though, isn't he kind of like Stormfront in a way? Yeah. Like, isn't that like the same thing? What the, what the hell are they doing back here? This wasn't the plan. What's going on? Take my car. Get them both to Mallory. Plan just changed. MM's gonna take you to a woman with the CIA. What? No, you have to come with us. I cut a deal that when I got Ryan, that I would call Vought, they were gonna come and take him away, and that you'd never f***ing see him again. I couldn't do it. Thankfully, even though that sucked. I'm obscure, Mr. Butcher! You hear? Uh-oh. Did I hear you say, Butcher? What's going on? Do you have the boy? Oh. Shoot. That's great. That's game over for them. That's great. Dude. Where's my son? Where is my son? I'm not leaving here without you. I don't care. Who's going to sell you out? I fucking will might do it again. You, you didn't know. I don't want to pass my shit on to him. You can raise him right and I'll make sure they never find you. You have to come with me. out of time. You got to let me do this. <laughs> I got a feeling they'll be kissing again soon. I just feel like someone's head's gonna explode or something. Stormfront. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding? What mother's milk driving? Yes. There you are, you slippery little. I'm assuming it's you who sent all those lies to the press. Oh, he's good. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's That's good. Insane. Where's Ryan? People love what I have to say. They believe in it. Are you right? <laughs> You right? Ryan, yeah. Ryan, 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 Ryan. You, okay? you okay? go. Hold off. Aww. What about the truth? What is the truth? <laughs> and what are you laughing at? She I says the she truth is. is she's gonna stick her boot up your Nazi kitty. <laughs> I don't think that's what she said. <laughs> To Jump. be honest, I would like to just see Stormfront go. She's kind of awkward. Yeah, Bridget! He's in the car, it's our only chance! Oh. oh, she's gonna blow up the car. Man. No way, right? Kimiko regenerates, right? I mean, I thought, right? I should just power you up. Hey, Kraut. Yes. Let's go, man. <laughs> yeah, just let these girls do that. It's like on death proof. Yeah. <laughs> you feel like what? Well, they're supers though. <laughs> and she just blasts off. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. Father of the year. Come here, Ryan. Now on your life. You belong with us. Take the f away from my son. Okay. That's wild. Come on, Ryan. Use your powers, buddy. Use your powers. Oh, he's gonna get mad. Yes. Let her go. Man, try the head, Billy. Billy's gonna have brain damage by the end of this. He's been put to sleep like 30 times already. Oh. Oh my God. I'm shot and I'm sorry. Did he hurt his mom? Oh, shoot, dude. Hold on. Help us! Now Billy's gonna hate that kid. Now she's gonna be like, protect him. It's not his fault. You make sure he knows that. 
<laughs> you promise me you keep him safe. Oh no. Well, damn, I was wrong about that kissing thing. Sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Mommy. Mom. Mom, please. Oh, please, Billy. Yeah, because if it was up to Billy, she'd be dead anyways. He couldn't have saved her. He's going to hit her. Oh. Ryan, do you do this? I didn't mean to. Come. Come here. How is this about to end? Oh, he's going to Billy? He's mine. What, are you going to blow yourself up? I promise. Have it your way. Stop. What are you doing here? You're going to let them go. And if I don't? Let this whole world's go. crumbling around him. You see this? You're going to stop hunting Starlight. You're going to leave me and Elena alone, or I release this. If you do that, I'll destroy everything. As long as everyone sees what a f***ing monster you are. Damn, that was cold, wasn't it? She really is Brave Maeve, isn't she? Mm -hmm. We believe that Stormfront was a sole perpetrator of the attack on Washington. The release of Compound V has been placed on indefinite hold. Let's go. Homelander. Necessary. Thanks to the heroism of Queen Maeve and Starlight, Stormfront <laughs> has been neutralized as being held in an undisclosed location. I would personally like to apologize to Starlight. Oh, she's Welcome back, back in her team. costume. We are your heroes. We are here to serve and protect you. Stormfront's violation of that special relationship, that trust. Justice. See that? Just empty words. Mm -hmm. Justice will be served. I roll in. <laughs> Gentlemen. I kind of like him better in Ohio. <laughs> Always happy to see you, sir. I'm afraid we had an incident at the archives. Isn't that right, Adrian? Uh, mm -mm. When that me? was you? Dude, I didn't know, sir. F him. I would never go behind <laughs> your back. Please, just let me explain. I think it showed initiative. Good job, oh, Adrian. <laughs> so he's going to get stuck. <laughs> Does that mean... I just spoke to Stan Edgar. You're back in. Yes! What? Yeah. What the deep? Uh, all right. <laughs> no, Whew. there's no way. He can't take both of them, he said. I'm back too, right? Right? I'm anti-Nazi. I'm sorry, <laughs> deep, but they only had one slot. <laughs> one hero is redemption, two is weakness. So they took him? Oh. Yes, they did! <laughs> Peace out, <laughs> 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 What the deep is <laughs> We'll get you into a few more courses. No, I don't want to pay for any more courses deep please come <laughs> i signed over my bank account to you I married some weirdo who gives terrible blowjobs <laughs> i did everything you asked because you said you'd get me back in the seven you fucking promised i'm sorry deep but you are acting like a toxic personality oh. Oh. fresca dude <laughs> i know i know are you sure it's safe for you to Go back into the tower? No. <laughs> if you jump ship and you let the asshole steer, then you're part of the problem. Someone taught me something about hanging in there. Maybe they get to work I've now. I've been thinking about that lately. The hanging in there. Maybe I am too clingy. Sticking with people just because I'm terrified of losing them. I think it's time I go off, stand on my own two feet for once. We'll just be friends then. Oh, oh God, no. No, I'm still <laughs> going to cling on to you. I'm not fucking crazy he's talking about the boys yeah he likes to play those little psychological games like the doctor on family guy yeah i have terrible news <laughs> she lived <laughs> i'm scared i bet they'll love each other in the end let's see you belong to your mom it's a saint christopher she gave it to me a long time ago and told me it will keep me safe and it is oh now your mom is gonna help keep you safe He thought Billy was about to raise him. He ain't got time for that. He's in a war. Mallory's going to? I guess we're just going to put him somewhere now, safe. Remember what I told you. Don't be a <laughs> <laughs> Man, I wouldn't trust anybody. They'd have to show me where they're taking William, him. William, I'm so sorry. You think he'll turn into his father? Who knows, you know? All the charges against you and the boys have been dropped. You're a free man. Let's go. And the White House is opening an office of soup affairs. Victoria Newman is the new czar. Promotion. I don't know. I kind of like the the underground Haitian king spot. Yeah, because if they if they get paid, then they can't use those janky weapons. They're going to be up in some fancy office <laughs> with nice pictures. <laughs> and coffee. Aw. He gets to be with his family again. That's so good. I'll make you so sure about it. I don't want to leave this spot. I hate when we leave a season and we have to leave like a cool location. Whatever I want. Oh, God. Do you agree? Wait, what? 
<laughs> the sound effect, though. It's like... Typical Homelander. Now is urine, Salah took Stormfront down, so thank you. We have enough dirt to ruin a dozen soups. Be a death blow for Stan Edgar. You are one of the good ones, Vic. Uh-oh. <laughs> so they're See working it. together. Yeah. Yeah, this man's consolidating some power right here. <sighs> oh, shut up. <laughs> no way. Don't need him. Is that smart? No. It was her? Bro, she did it? I thought, I thought it was Cindy. the other girl. What if she is Cindy? I don't know. We're about to find out. Here's the research you asked for. Thank you. And your two o'clock is waiting. All. Thank you. Hugh Campbell. I don't know how to repay you for what you did. You know, I can think of a way. You can give me a job. You serious? What about your team? I want to do it the right way. Yeah, the right Not way. covered in quite as many guts. <laughs> Look, the truth is, I never totally fit in with the guys. I think it's time I stand on my own two feet. They know you're here? I haven't told is me he yet. trying to get a job there so he can keep tabs on her? Well, I thought he was trying to just actually... Do it the right way? Yeah, but it might be... It might lead that way next season. So she's a damn soup runner for Congress. Only, Only the, the good, good guy. guy. So that was the uh, season finale of The Boys. I feel like basically Compound V is like a political football at this point. I mean, it was released, unreleased. And it's just going to be something that the public knows about it. And it's going to be like the biggest political discussion point mm -hmm. in the country. Crazy episode, man. May finally came through and was just, just kind of a beast in this. To yeah. be honest. She put it all on the line. And I never would have thought after everything that happened, they would all be standing there in a press conference together. Just yeah. Just faking it out I didn't for think the world. So. I didn't think that would happen ever again. I love that all the charges got dropped, man. Everyone got reunited with their families. Uh, well, mother, Mother's Milk did. Huey, on the other hand, I guess he's trying to start a family, but... Um, it turns out the congresswoman running for Congress is the one who's blowing up heads. Mm. So we thought it was the other girl, but we were completely I think wrong. it still is that girl because they showed us that in the beginning of episode seven. They showed us her in the beginning escaping, and they did that for a reason, mm -hmm. and she was doing this. Yeah. I guess we'll see. Maybe she's like kind of like a doppelganger thing or something. I don't Either know. that or maybe like they've been like taking people's DNA and then like extracting it and putting it in their own. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Maybe she just became, maybe she's like a recent convert. Or maybe someone like raised her to be that or something. Something. I guess we're going to see we're in the next season. Out. It's really good to see Stormfront gone. Uh, she was honestly cringy. I mean, she cringed me out from the beginning. Like not only the fact that she's like racist and a white supremacist and all that. She's just cringy. I mean, she's just, she was just killing me with all her little jabs and stuff so it was really she's good so to see snarky. her yeah it was yeah. good to see her get blasted i thought yeah i thought and it was, it was good cool. that ryan was it. yeah ryan was the yeah. deliverer that was great right uh and th i guess this one was just about like you know exposure i mean she basically got exposed for having all these nazi roots and stuff and it's really hurt like the whole entire image of the seven and yeah. like uh at this point, there I think the public trust has to be going down a lot. Right. Right. And Homelander has a bunch of bodies under his belt that he's murdered. So right. I don't know how that's going to play into the public. I like how spin it. Sorry to interrupt you, but I like how Stan Edgar and that what you're talking about. I like how every time something crazy happens, he uses that situation to like play off it. What do you mean? Like, like for example, when Compound V got exposed, he like started raising up the stock prices on it because he was like letting oh, out yeah, to the public. Yeah. So everything bad that happens to Vought. He can twist it around in his favor. Yeah, everything that happens basically is a net win for Vaught at this point. It seems like the less they have to sit there and hide their true intentions and hide things, it seems like they're able to make moves that typically they weren't able to make. I'm sure they made a lot of money with the scandal. Yeah. You know what I mean? And just like even the press on it and stuff is also like more exposure and exposure. And then Stormfront getting turned on probably even made Vaught look better. So. Well, yeah, it looked like, man, you know, you got to give us more power. We got to be able to do like... We need better background checks. We need better mm. this. We need better this. Because look what happened. A bad person infiltrated. So, yeah, it's just going to be like a give me power grab for sure. Um, it was Ryan's going to be a, Oh, sorry. No, you're good. I was just going to say I was going to bring up Ryan, actually. But I was just going to talk about how it was sad to see Billy basically fall in love again. And then uh, his wife just, you know, got blasted. I don't really know if Ryan did it because... With the lasers, I'd imagine it would have just destroyed her neck, but maybe. Right, I think he just had no control, so it kind of just went everywhere. Well, I think when she was grabbing her throat, she got blasted, and she said, Ugh, and I think it just, like, hurt her. And, like, yeah, basically, maybe. like, caused, like, a fatal wound. Or maybe, like, uh, when she got hit, the initial, like, shock of it made her almost, like, shock her neck or something. I don't know, and there was, like, an entrance wound. But basically, man, she gone, so. Yeah. Um, sad to see, but I kind of figured something like that was going to happen, you know. 
I didn't figure that story would have a happy ending. Yeah, it couldn't. I and I hate to say it, but it makes the story a lot less complicated. Like the constant, he's trying to be with her, but it's impossible. Like, well, now he's going to do everything to protect Ryan, I feel like, because that was his promise. So, like, if he hears something crazy is going down, he's going to go rush to it. I think that he, uh, his way of protecting Ryan is going to be to just try to kill every soup that's yeah. bad. You know what I mean? I don't think he's going to do like a hands on protection job. He just basically shipped him off. So, I don't know if he's about to go get adopted or if the agency is just going to take care of him or whatever, but we'll see. Yeah, Crazy episode. it's going to I think this season was really good. I, I liked it better than the first one, in my opinion. But also, I liked it because it just progressed the story. So I think season three will be even better than season two. Well, seeing the basically the mental decline of Homelander is really fun to see. Like in this one, when he was talking, I think the silence, you know, it zoomed in and just yeah. became silent because I think that was just trying to indicate that he's just speaking nonsense right now. Like He's just toting the line, saying what he's got to say. He's basically dead inside with no soul at this yeah. point. Yeah. Because, I mean, if you can just get up in front of, like, a... If you can just get up on a mic like that and just talk to people and just lie straight through your teeth without any feelings about it, there's something really weird going on internally, and he is just the ultimate... He's sitting there beating off on the city, literally. And saying that, what did he say, y'all... They don't, y'all don't tell me what to do or something like that. I can do whatever I want. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like that was like a uh, Aemon Targaryen and House of the Dragon. Yeah. Remember? Same thing. Yeah. yeah the exact same, same thing. thing. So, Twisted. so basically, we, we know that Homelander just does not like anybody. Like he's, he's going to go, he's going to take a really twisted turn, I feel like. Well, imagine a bunch of children telling you what to do. Like uh, that's probably how he perceives things. You yeah. Know? I mean, not like, and his son's taken away from him. So, that well, that's felt, the biggest loss. Like, right. if they can take your son from you and put you in a... Sorry to interrupt you, but if they no, can yeah. back you in a corner and play the cards so well to where the most powerful being on the planet is, like, defenseless, that's got to be a blow to the ego. Yes. 100%. For sure. So, I think I'm sitting there chanting, I can do what I want. Like, I think he's really building himself up to be, like... I think he's about to pick a side, basically, is what I'm about to say. Whew, crazy. It's going to be a crazy third season. Well, he could be trying to do sneaky stuff to, like, expose Vought, maybe, in the next... Because he might be sick of toting the line with them. I don't know, man. Like, you know, he thinks he's so irreplaceable. Yeah. But without Vought, you know, without Vought backing him, like, what is he really? I mean, the fastest man on earth is literally, he, the the Deep and A-Train, they literally feel like losers. They mm -hmm. genuinely feel like losers. That's how much power, like, that place has over them. And they're yeah. still, like, super human in a way. And not yeah. only that, they're famous. They have face recognition. They can get into, like, any place they want to go. So I don't know, man. Like that place has a lot of power. Yeah. A lot of power. Um, we need to take down Edgar eventually. That'd be really good. And that's his name, right? Edgar. Yeah. Edgar. Edgar. Um, we need to take that dude down because he's obviously like he even admitted admitted it in this. Like he's completely just he's about bought and money. paid for. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he's just he's a soulless shill for sure. So he'll do and say he'll literally he'll literally let a white supremacist take charge of like his whole entire corporation and be the face of it just to make money. Just to so, anger people, like right. That's crazy. <laughs> right. Smart business planning, but crazy. Not really that smart of business planning, but when you're trying to raise up stock prices, he is kind of right. You do pick, piss people off and that. Yeah. That does help. Guys, that was a lot of fun, man. We'll definitely be back with season three. And this show is just probably only getting started. So yeah, uh, we started out just popping one head at a time. By the end of it, we were just popping all kinds of heads. I think we popped 13 in a row at one point. And uh, I just, I don't know how they're going to top that in the next season. Mm -mm. I don't know. And we saw a dude set himself on fire. So all in all, that just was a crazy. crazy. That was crazy though, because Huey literally was like <laughs> needed him, and he like brought him in there, and he just like <laughs> just like kills himself. And he's like, "What the heck, man? I just needed your help." And he has like sever his hand. <laughs> Call me heartless, but I ain't sad to see him go. That brother was weird. No, he was weird. He, he was, was weird, weird, but bro. it's just funny because Huey, all Huey had to do was just watch TV with him, and he couldn't do you it. You keep saying watch TV, but could you sit there and watch no, that, with that man for that long? Uh, no. I'd have made him change the channel or something. Jesus. I would have been watching the news, obviously. Right. Uh, crazy episode, man. We'll be back with season three.